Headliner Chicago here with the director of Mayor Pete, the film that is going to be debuting at the Chicago International Film Festival tonight. How does it feel to finally be able to have crowds to be able to see this film? I mean, amazing. Uh, just to premiere the film, but to premiere it in a movie theater with an audience is amazing. It's been too long, uh, two years <laughs> since I've been able to do that. And with this movie in this town, uh, with a real audience, that'll be very special. Now, Chaston and Pete got engaged at O'Hare, which is you know, one of the, our story that we hold you know, close to our hearts here in the Chicagoland area. How much of an influence do you think our city had on them as a, as a couple? Well, that's a, a question for, for them. Of course, they've talked about their courtship and the, the special role that Chicago played in that relationship. Um, so I think it's perfectly fitting that we would premiere the film here. Um, and and Pete, as a product of, of the Midwest, uh, Chaston too, and um, you know, I think what this community has meant to them. They have a lot of supporters and staff who come from Chicago. In fact, early in the campaign, they had a campaign office in Chicago and one in South Bend, and then they realized maybe for the, for the sake of the campaign, they needed to, to bring everybody to South Bend. So that was probably a good decision, but, um, but I know that was um, early on they did have people here. So when did you first meet them, and how did you reach out to them and be able to have access to them, you know, from before the caucuses uh, to be able to film everything? Sure. So we actually started filming before Pete officially announced his candidacy. He had, was dipping his toe in the water. He had a campaign staff of five. Um, we reached out, and of course I knew about Pete as this rising star in the party. Didn't think he'd necessarily be a, a top-tier candidate, but thought there's something interesting. He's got something interesting going on. Uh, we should pay attention to him. He could be the future, one future of the party. And so we reached out. To our surprise, he was open to the idea of a documentary about him running for president. And I thought, this is like a Frank Capra film. I mean, anything can happen in American politics. We know that, both good and bad. We've had Obama, sort of outside the box, unconventional candidate. Of course, we have the other guy. I won't mention his name. So could a mayor from South Bend, Indiana, be elected president? Well, I was going to find out. And um, it was a very exciting ride. Of course, the campaign grew quickly. He became a top-tier candidate uh, within a matter of months, and that staff of five mushroomed to 500 eventually, and we had a story. Now, the thing that I like about him is that he is just so honest, whether you want to hear it or not, and he has such a calming presence, and I think the way that politics has changed so much over the past couple of years that it's become more theatrical, and it's what's making the headlines, and it's not someone who's going to sit there, make sense of everything, and you know, give you a straight on answer and even head controversy on, you know, face first, which a lot of people would necessarily do. Um, do you think that was too much of a fault of his and why he didn't succeed? Or do you think people weren't ready for that honesty? Or, you know, what, what do you think it was about that? Well, I, I think, um, I mean, what I responded to um, and connected with about Pete, his sort of his genuineness, uh, what you see is what you get, his transparency, uh, his intelligence. I mean, I didn't go in as a Pete supporter. The film is not, a, a, you know, an endorsement of Pete. It's a very intimate, honest uh, story of his campaign. But I do think that those were qualities that I connected with, and I think a lot of people did. And I think it accounts for his success on the campaign and uh, his performance in Iowa that, that people from all over the spectrum were res res resonating with what, you know, message he was sending. And I think that the message of inclusivity of that campaign, you know, this, um, this, this uh, gay man and his partner, Chaston, really inviting people in and, and not looking to drive wedges into the body politic, but actually knit people together. Uh, this was very appealing. And I think a lot of people liked that Pete sort of lowered the, 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 the blood pressure, lowered the temperature. We'd have you know, three years at that point of, of someone else who was really stoking division and, and fear and anxiety. And I think that um, what Pete was offering was something radically different, and I think it actually really did connect with a lot of people. Now, I had seen him speak before, and one of the things, you know, I, I love him, I love his energy, and I wanted to just to see what he was all about. He was coming to Chicago to do something. The crazy part is when you look into the audience that it was not, you know, I just assumed it was going to be all gay men in the audience going to see him. It was young girls, it was couples, it was older families, people coming together, you know, with their heterosexual partners, you know, holding hands, cheering for him, which I was not expecting to see. How crazy was it to see the support that he not only got from the gay community, but also from the larger community and people from South Bend, mm -hmm. wherever he went to go speak? No, it was very electrifying to see that energy that was building around him. In fact, in the film, early on, you, there's a scene in a bookstore in New Hampshire. It was one of his early appearances in that state, critical early state. And the energy in that room was extraordinary. And you could see people were just kind of 
hungering for, for, for what he had to offer. And then when we went to Iowa and I saw people who looked different than those people in, in, um, in New Hampshire, they were older, maybe more conservative, but they were coming out and they were intrigued. And then I thought, I think a lot of people thought, okay, there's something going on here. He, he, this could be a very real campaign. Something that gets mentioned briefly in, in the film, but now is a huge part of their lives, they have become parents. They discuss them a little bit there. Um, how much of the journey did you get to kind of know while you were filming the, the movie, and have you met the, the twins? No, I, ha I haven't um, met their children. Um, uh, of course, I'm very happy for them. Um, I mean, one of the joys of making the film for me was getting to know both Pete and Chastin and seeing their relationship, the intimacy, the love that they have, they have for each other. It's very old fashioned. It's also radically new, I think, for a, for a gay couple to be on that public stage in American politics and having to, to sort of navigate and negotiate both sort of sort of their identities, but also, you know, their, their public selves that they're presenting and how they're talking about um, their identities was part of what the story uh, that was unfolding um, that, that I think I found captivating. And, but I think at the core of the film is their love for each other. Um, I mean, I, I really, Chastin made me laugh. He's very different than Pete. They're sort of opposites in some ways, his personalities. And they complement each other beautifully. And I think you feel that chemistry in the film. Um, you know, Chastin's not afraid to kind of, you know, give Pete a hard time. You know, he speaks honestly to Pete. And, um, and I think the fact that Pete let us in, and Chastin too, to, to be there for those personal moments is what makes the film really resonant and special. And whether you know a lot about Pete or nothing about him, I think it's going to be a, a film that will uh, open your eyes. Do you think he'll run again? Well, I asked Pete that question at the end of the movie, and he, he answers it in a, in a way which is pretty interesting. Um, uh, he's got a, a lot on his plate right now, I think we know that, as the Secretary of Transportation uh, in the Biden administration, and uh, I'm not sure what his political future is. Um, he'll, he'll answer that question for us. Now, as far as Boy State, that was another movie that I enjoyed watching, and we had done interviews with some of the, the guys that were part of that. How do you think Pete's presence in this last election would influence the next generation of, of young kids, and how do you think mm -hmm. they're changing their perspective on, mm -hmm. on politics? Yeah, great question. I mean, I think Pete's campaign was really, really built on inviting people in and um, being uh, open and telling people who maybe didn't fit for whatever reason um, that they had a place and a voice. And I think that's really inspiring. Um, and I, I remember filming a scene, it's not in the movie, we cut it, it's a beautiful scene though, in which Chaston was calling a young campaign supporter who's a teenager who was having a hard time because his parents were not as accepting of his gay identity. And Chaston was there directly on the phone to just say, hey, we're here for you. And I just found that very, very moving. Um, and I think you feel that when Chaston goes to the camp in Iowa and speaks to those uh, gay kids and says, you know, I didn't think I'd find myself in this role, but here I am. And, and just so you know, there's a place for you in this campaign, this team that we're building. And I think America needs more, whether it comes from Pete or other political leaders, um, that kind of inclusivity. Uh, we need more, more, less division, and I think we, we have these wounds that are that need to be healed. And I think um, Boy State was about that conversation of finding um, leadership with integrity, and finding a center that can hold, uh, that can heal our fractured democracy. We'll have to see if there's another Boy State, you know, coming out from. Well, we're we're going to make Girl State, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm busy with Mayor Pete right now, but I, we do hope hope to make that sequel. We call it a sibling, actually, but Girl State is uh, very much a project we we want to. Uh, you want to make. Excited for that one. If you haven't seen Boy State, definitely go check out that film. And also Mayor Pete, tonight, Chicago International Film Festival, and then November 12th, uh, Amazon Prime Video. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.